welcome back to another video, guys. Um, I thought it would be a pretty cool idea to have the coolest white guy I know, Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. So I thought it would be a pretty cool idea to have Jerry just stop by. And um, I kind of wanted to pick his brain due to the fact that Jerry's uh, older. I could call you old, right? Yeah. You don't get offended. Jerry's an old ass rider. Due to the fact that Jerry's just an older rider, he's been riding since the 80s or so. And I just wanted to pick his brain and see exactly uh, from that type of mindset, what what do you think of today's modern technology with the, obviously the live wire here now, which is, I've had an amazing time just riding this bike all day and it's, it's amazing. Like, I think if you take it on a test ride, you won't get the full benefits and the full taste out of it. Um, due to the fact that I had it for the full day, I literally got to play around with it a lot and I didn't even, I didn't even get to play with all the bells and whistles from from everything inside. Like I put it on sport mode, I put it on eco mode, and that was it. But then there's also an other option where you're able to do your own mode for A mode, B mode, C mode. And it just, mode yeah. yeah, so you just you know play around with it however you want to set it. You you, you save it as a preset, which is pretty cool. Um, so I mean right off the bat, like I want to start with the aesthetics, with the looks, and everything. Like. What do you think about the bike aesthetically? Yeah, aesthetically the bike, I mean, I think it looks fantastic. It's great, it's got Brumbo, it's got inverted fork. Uh, it's like a sport bike, like a naked sport bike. Um, you know, I, like I said, I, I think it looks great. The seat's a little little small, but it's made for local commuting. It's not made for long distance store. Exactly. I mean, you know, and when I test drove, the one I test drove, we, we, I was in a group. So of course, when you're in a group, you can't go as fast as you want to go or do what you want to do because you have people in front of you and people behind you. Yeah, I, I was able to literally rip it around however I wanted to today and I had an amazing time. I got up to like at least 115 on the highway, which felt amazing on there. Like it just, it was really smooth. Like something that you wouldn't even think of. And the thing is that afterwards I got on my bike and it just felt so weird. My bike felt weird. Like that's, that's how fast and how, how comfortable I felt on this bike already yeah. from the beginning, yeah. Yeah, I mean, when I, when I rode it, I rode in sport mode and I rode in eco mode, but the fastest I got up to was like 70 on the test drive because we couldn't just go anywhere. Do you like the way the bike looks? Do you like the design of it? Or? Yes, I like the design of the bike. I, I'm, not, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the design of the bike. I mean, the mileage, like the battery life could probably be a little better, but it's new technology. So. It's, it's a brand new bike. I'm pretty sure like if they stick around with this, um, and they'll have like a bunch of little live wires for every little segment later on. I spoke about a previous, in my previous video when I was talking, I was like, where I think they're going is that they're probably going to have a live wire for a sport, uh, for the Sportster lineup, a live wire for the Softail lineup, a live wire for the Touring models. I'm talking about five or ten years down the line. Yeah, electric But, I, but yeah. I, I think that's where they want to go and they're, they're not, they're not going to get rid of the other bikes, but they're just going to add an extra one to just look at it all electric for those people who may want to go that route. I like the fact that they kept like the tank, even though there's no gas, but they kept it, you know, to the origins of the motorcycle community yes, and, yeah. you know, aesthetics and everything. It looks good. No, it's definitely a cool looking bike. It handles well. Um, like I said, I rode in a group, so I couldn't go crazy. I couldn't, I mean, you had a much better opportunity because you're riding it all day long yeah. and you're able to do it. The only thing you didn't do was charge, like, you know, charge it or whatever. I got down to like 24% now from, from 100, so, I mean, it, it's, it's lasting me all day, so, yeah. so it's like being on my bike for all day, and I'm like, you know, I gotta gas up now, but, I mean, I have 24 miles left over. Yeah, plus you're running to different modes and everything, I'm sure. I've been, I've been in sport mode all day. Yeah. <laughs> That's where you want to be. I think it was on eco mode until we got out of the parking lot at a place, and then once we got on the, on the road, the main road, I switched over to sport right away, yeah. along with most of the group. That's definitely cool. And, you know, it's got its advantages. Like you said, you plug it in at night or you can do the fast charger. There's no gas. You could actually put it in your living room because there's no fuel in it. So no smoke. Know, yeah. Carbon footprint, man. You gotta, yeah. you, gotta, you gotta keep the world clean. And there's no heat. And there's no heat. Yeah. Very cool. You don't have to worry about heat or anything as well. I mean, I rode your bike the other day and I was worried about heat because, damn, my legs were burning. <laughs> TBR, man. Yeah, Crazy. So, no TBR for this, no Bassani for this, no nothing, no Vance. It's got Hines. a cool sound to it when you get it on it. It sounds like a TIE fighter. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like cool. But, and you can hear it coming. Yeah. You know, like I heard you pull up. Yeah, so it's kind of <laughs> cool or whatever. It's a, For me, at 6'3, it's a little small. 
I'm yeah, a little I, I, I believe so. Because it's more of a sporty feel. Um, and it's, I think if they would have done, because I, I think the Bronx is out of the picture now, but I think if it, this would have been I, the body of the Bronx as a naked bike, because this looks like a naked bike. I got confirmation today the Bronx is gone. It's a sad day in the motorcycle community. Yes. Moment of silence for the Bronx. <laughs> 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 we oh, even man. see the bike and it's kind of it's, like, it sucks but I mean picture this being the Bronx yeah that would be cool it's a beautiful frame I think everything the aluminum look at this all aluminum frame right here that's I mean it's beautiful without the battery. my only concern is like this is the battery and this is the en the motor the engine yeah the electric motor the electric motor so what happens when you hit a pothole in Jersey or in New York um, is that $10,000 worth of damage so it, it is it, it sits up pretty high though i don't think you're gonna be scraping or anything like that we're um, talking new jersey new york potholes yeah. you know you know how it is yeah I, I, yeah i mean that's that could that could be an issue yeah it could be definitely be an issue that's my concern is like if you hit the front of this engine or the, the, the amount of, of damage yeah. you're gonna do to yeah it, right yeah because yeah, you even if you just caught this um is this hot? no it's not even hot no it doesn't get hot dude Wow. It's, it stays cool. That's, that's the I mean, it's a cool looking bike. It's very narrow. It's very well balanced. I have to no ride service. it again. Yeah, no service. You save money there. I, I might do another. There's a demo coming up, so I might do a demo. All right, so overall, the bike is going to be $30,000, or not going to be. It is $30,000. Um, with the $30,000, though, you do get your full front and uh, rear shoulder suspension. Um, dual disc front brakes, Brembo brakes, you get your different riding modes, um, it's all electric, you're not wasting any money on service, um, what else, what else, what else, what else, the, the, those are like the big key points, it has cruise control, and a bunch of other goodies, it has like thousand, like a hundred goodies on here that I, I don't even know still, um, with all that, do you think it's worth a $30,000? Absolutely not. How much, how much would you price the bike at? At a cap. 20 would be my max, but even at 20, I don't think I'd buy it. Yeah, but I mean, at 20, you're, I mean, my, my bike is 20. So yeah. if you add this modern technology to my bike with everything that this bike comes with, yeah, if you're, you're looking, looking at, if you're looking at the technology, yeah. But you're if you're looking at it, would I rather have this or your bike? I'd rather have your bike. I mean, yeah. I mean, you're, that's what I wanted to pick your brain. Cause I mean, you're, you're coming from a, you've been on. Yeah. I mean, this might be the wave of the future, but it's not my future right now. Like I, would rather just keep repairing my Harleys if I had to, if that came down to it with the emissions and all the other stuff, then then go this route. I'm not opposed to this route, but for me, it's not for me. It's not for you. Yeah, I'm too big. I feel I don't feel comfortable. There's no way I could ride somebody two up on it unless she was like. Do you see it staying? I I do see it staying. Yeah, you don't see. But it like you said, that. I think other models are going to springboard off of that. So what do you like, think if they come out with? Like if they come out with a street glide. With a bigger battery, with a bigger, wider, like street bag, you know, street glide with the bags, and I got this big battery underneath, maybe. Yeah. And I'd pay probably pay thirty for that. Yeah. Because I'd have the bags, I'd have my navigation, I'd have all my stuff. So I think at twenty thousand dollars, this will be a bike that you'll probably maybe think about. Yeah. A secondary 20, bike. At twenty. For a I second, think, it would be a commuter bike for me to go back and forth. Exactly. Forward. Me at twenty thousand dollars, this will be a bike that I would be looking at as a secondary bike. Honestly, like I. I I totally fell in love with it today. I think it's an amazing machine, and uh, I kind of want one. <laughs> I really want one, not for that price though. But it's. I think everything that I come you have to wait for years one. Yeah, I mean, I even I don't even know how that mark is gonna work. Well, I saw a used one already. Nine hundred miles, twenty-seven thousand, twenty-six nine nine nine. Well, there you go. You get one with like five thousand miles on it. You might get it for like twenty grand. Yeah. Maybe. All right. Awesome. Um, leave your thoughts down below. I just wanted to get Jerry's thought on everything like that, being that Jerry's a boat rider. I got experienced rider, you could say. An experienced rider. <laughs> <laughs> um, 32 years. Longer than you've been alive. I've been, I've been alive for 33 years, man. Oh, now you're 33? Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, drop your thoughts down below. Let me know what you guys think about the 2020 Harley Davidson Live Wire. Um, if you're around, throw a leg over it. If you're able to take it out for a test ride or any demo rides coming around, definitely take it out. I'm pretty sure you're gonna love it. Take my advice, trust me. Um, like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby.